PR knot or FG knot? Which one would you choose? In this video, I'm going to share with you the key differences in my experiences of the PR knot versus the FG knot. It's a bit of a hot topic in the sport fishing scene, but many anglers have their own opinion as to why one knot is better than the other. In my opinion, these are the two most popular knots to join your braided line to your leader material. Let's dive into the pros and cons of each knot. Comparing the knot strength, the PR knot, if tied correctly, will reach 100% knot strength, and on the other hand, the FG knot will be up around the 90% mark, which is still outstanding for both of these knots. The only reason why I think the PR knot is superior in knot strength is because it has wraps going all the way one way and all the way the other way in comparison to the FG knot. As far as knowing which knot to use on which type of line, well, both knots are only able to be used on braid to mono or fluorocarbon leader material. You can't use these knots to go from braid to braid. It simply won't work because the knot is designed to, or these knots are designed to bite down into the leader material uh, creating one continuous line. The PR knot is better for your heavier rated lines, let's say 30 pound and above, uh, only because the use of a bobbin tool is involved. Now, if you put too light of line through the bobbin, um, it may potentially break your lighter rated lines. So I say from about 30 pound and above is optimal, uh, as opposed to your FG knot, which you can use for heavier rated lines and also your lighter rated lines. As long as you don't come too low down below the 15 pound mark, you should be okay. Uh, this is only because the volume of the leader material won't be there for the braid to be able to bite down onto it. Both of these knots are very slim line, but the FG knot definitely takes the cake as being the thinnest braid to mono connection available. The PR knot is still very slimline, uh, but it does have a set of wraps going all the way one way and a set of wraps going all the way back the other way, giving it double thickness. So the FG knot is basically, the braid is weaved onto the leader material, leaving it the thinnest braid to mono connection available. Thin knot profiles means great for passing through your rod guides. Now, this brings me into the next pro for the FG, and that's casting ability. So the FG has less resistance when casting, which means a more accurate, longer cast, as opposed to the PR, which is still good for casting, but the superior is definitely the FG knot here. Before getting into the cons of each knot, if you're sold on the PR knot already, check out my latest tutorial on how to tie it here. My next episode of the Fishing Knot series will be how I tie my FG knot. So if you want to see when that comes out, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to stay notified when it comes out. Okay guys, getting into the cons. So both these knots are fairly tricky to tie, especially when you're out on the water or when it's windy in the situation. But if you can find that one that suits you the best and the one that you can tie the best with minimal downtime, uh, that's the one I'd be going for because both of these knots are very good but each have their own little con to tying. So the PR knot, you're using a bobbin. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get that bobbin to go back the other way along your wraps. Uh, the FG always has to have tension on that braided line. So it really depends on which one is going to work best for you. Also, your braided line must be thinner than your leader material on your FG knots so that the lighter braid can bite down into the heavier leader material. As mentioned earlier, both of these knots can only be used as a braid to mono or braid to fluoro connection. They both can't be used on a braid to braid connection as it won't work. After looking at the pros and cons of each knot, which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. In my opinion, it really depends on what exactly you want out of the knot as to which one to use. So there may be some trial and error involved so you can find out which one works best for you. You can use my tutorials to tie a few test knots 
and then hopefully from that you work out which one you can nail. Remember, not failure is a common contributor to losing that trophy fish. Fishing is all about the preparation and if you put the effort in prior, you'll definitely come out with good results. I hope I could provide you with some solid key points to help you decide which one to use. Be sure to connect with us on any of the links in the description of this video. Happy fishing guys, I'm out for now, see you on the next one.